Hey guys, what's going on? Death Trooper 7 here again. Uh, after my last video of, you know, tips on different classes and stuff like that, I just got a lot of positive feedback and, you know, I thought I'd start this new series called uh, Road to Success. Or, I don't know what I'm going to name it exactly, but it's going to be something along those lines. Um, it's pretty much going to be, you know, I'll get a good gameplay on a certain type of game mode, like for example, this one's con killed confirmed, or like domination or team deathmatch or anything like that. And as I go through, I'll talk a little bit about you know the different type of game and all that stuff, and I'll try and give you guys a little bit of pointers on how to do well in that game mode. Because if you haven't figured it out by now, every game mode you have to have a different play style in order to succeed and just kind of fly past everybody else. Okay, so, starting off with Kill Confirmed. This one, since the spawns are kind of random, but generally they're pretty good, you want to stick to the outside of the map so you don't have people spawning left and right just killing you every time you spawn. And you also want to try and stay with one or two other people, but away from the main part of your team. Um, if you stay with the main part of your team, yeah, you know, you're going to have more backup and all that type of stuff. But as you're running through, you know, your group is going to be the biggest target. So, you know, stay with at least one person to give you a little backup if you need it. But it helps, at least what I've seen, it helps a lot if you just kind of stay away from the main group. You know, run the outside of the map like I'm doing. Play a little conservatively if you're on a good kill streak. Uh, pick up some good kill streaks, like I just picked up the Reaper right here, and that helps me out a lot. But, you know, mainly throughout the game, just stick to yourself. It's a lot easier to win, you know, one on one gunfight than to get in the middle of the map and have four people shooting at you. And trying to win that, it's almost hopeless, you know. It can be done, I've done it, I've seen other people do it, you get in the middle, you know, you have a few people shooting at you, and you're able to take them all out, but the chances are just, you know, not in your favor. So, also, another thing that you want to use, like in Killed Confirmed, if you have a good team with you and you're on a good kill streak, all you have to do is say, you know, guys, don't pick up the tags, and that can make the game go so much longer. You know, you can max out the time limit instead of going, oh, well, you know, we're going to get uh, 60 kills or 50 kills or whatever, and we're just going to cap as many flag or tags as we can as fast as we can. Like, on Ground War here, the max is 90. But my team, you know, we were playing, not everybody on my team was with me. You know, I only had, like, two friends with. Uh, Lick My Taint is one of them, and the other one is Hell's Host. But, you know, as we're running through, I'm like, yeah, guys, you know, you can pick up tags, get some points, whatever, in case you're not doing that well on a kill streak, you know, you can get some good points picking up tags, but try not to pick up every single tag, because we don't want the game to run by too fast, and in this game, we just ended up blowing through their team. I, I don't know what to say, we just mowed them down left and right, but, um... For Kill Confirmed, you know, you want to grab tags if they're right there. You know, get yourself some extra points. But if they're not right there waiting for you, you know, don't worry about it. If the other team is like, oh, well, you know, I'm going to go get my tags back. Well, sure, they get the points for grabbing their own tags and blah, 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 blah. But all it does is really make the game last longer. As long as you guys are winning, don't make the tags your number one priority. Because as soon as the enemy team sees that tag go up, they're going to hunt it down and they're going to find it. And if you're standing in the way, sad to say, but you're going down with it. So, you know, do that. Also, one major thing, no matter what game mode it is, always use kill streaks that apply to the map. Like, in this one, for example, I got really lucky because the other team, you know, they weren't shooting down all my helicopters and all that type of stuff, but there's a lot of open airspace. Like, there's a lot of open space, like right here, where there's no roof over there. So you're able to just keep raining it down on them and killing them. In other maps, 
like interchange for example there's a lot of things overhead where if you shoot it's really hard to try and kill them so you know you just want to be conservative make sure that your kill streaks are going to actually do something for you um get some lucky kills like right here then go back if you're ever going to use a reaper or anything always go and hide um in game modes like this if you're going to hide try and get somewhere away from the big group and just try and be sneaky with it but the main thing is your kill streaks are going to be the majority of your kills even if you bring out you know a attack helicopter or two that attack helicopter even if it only gets you three kills that's three extra kills you didn't have before so play the map the way that you should you know be a little defensive but still try and stay in the area of the enemy like right here I knew all the enemies would want to go over and drop get those tags so I set down my Osprey gunner right in the middle of the enemy granted they did end up blowing it down pretty quick but as it went over there my Osprey was right there it was just right on top of the enemy exactly where I would have been if I was out running and gunning so you know be in the middle of the action but at the same time don't be in the middle of a group you know be able to have people around you be able to get yourself some kills get a good kill streak going but try not to be the exact center of attention because all that will do is get you killed faster so you know just keep doing your normal kill streaks be sneaky if you can you know silencer assassin anything like that if you prefer a different perk setup go for it I have seen a lot of different things work just this is the one I'm most comfortable with it's the one that you know keeps me the most hidden so people aren't just killing me every time I spawn but you know do that run around stay in the action but away from the attention if that makes any sense um, like I said always keep your kill streaks just able to be used if you're on a really hard map like a lot of the ones with pretty much all buildings throughout the entire map I don't even use Reapers or Osprey Gunners or anything like that. You know, I switch out. I might even use UAV, maybe throw in an IMS once in a while, or just, you know, like put Assault Juggernaut on. Or for some of you that can't get that really high kill streak, you know, throw on the support kill streak and do UAV, Advanced UAV, and Juggernaut or EMP or something like that. It would you know it helps out your team tremendously it really does do a good job and in game modes like this where you know as long as you can kill them it doesn't really matter what they can do because if you're running through you're killing them as soon as you collect that tag it doesn't matter what they do doesn't matter who they are they're not going to take their points back so you know just keep running through keep the type of game mode and the type of map in mind as you're running through that will dramatically increase the way you play you will see your KDR going up and even if your KDR doesn't go up you know your number of kills in a match might go up one to two on average you know, even that little bit of improvement over time helps a lot but you know as you can see the game's coming to an end it did end up going up to 90 points because it's on ground war instead of 65 for normal um, last kill, yeah, the kid was camping a little bit, you know, kind of a noob, but, you know, everybody's got to do their own thing to survive. Uh, I did end up going 71-7, and seven, which, for me, I believe is a personal best in amount of kills in one game. But, you know, like the, like the video, comment if you want to, subscribe. Thanks, guys. See you later.